Okay, the next thing we're going to show you is how to fit a set of oversized piston rings and file fit them to fit the bore. Uh, so this is a standard bore and we've got here a set of 0.75 oversized rings. So we'll show you how to do the top ring. And then the process is exactly the same for the other rings. Um, we tend to fit just a standard oil scraper ring and only fit oversized top and middle rings. Uh, make sure that you probably won't see this in the camera, there's a tiny little marking. None on this side. There's a tiny little marking on this side. That should face up. So we want to place the ring in the bore. Obviously these aren't going to fit because they're oversized. So we need to file them down and file them down slowly until the end gap is just right that it will fit in the bore. So to do that we use our piston ring filer. Uh, it consists of an abrasive wheel with a tool placing the piston ring on top and turning the wheel. So to do that, I like to do it on the edge of a bench because it's easier to turn. You want to turn the wheel so that it spins forward so that it's filing towards the inside of the piston ring. Place the ring against the two studs And gently pull the bit of pressure against the side of the ring and a few turns off and a few turns off the piston ring filer. Go back, check if it'll fit in the bore. We know it, I know it won't at the minute, so again, place back in the piston ring filer. You're only aiming to file one side, so this side isn't actually contacting the, the abrasive wheel. This side is. And I'm trying to do this so that you can see, uh, but I tend to put my finger here to hold it on push a little bit of pressure in and against the studs and that holds it square. So again, it's easier to take a little bit off at a time rather than taking too much off. You can always remove material that you can't add. able to go into the bore. Uh, we need to square it up so I like to just use, bring it to the very edge. And then just use piston, push it down. I always leave the second ring in like as a good stop and let you know it's square. We then need to measure the gap that we've got. It's 
filler gauges. And then you can determine how much more you need to take off. So you're looking for about a 0.015 ring gap. And this one is about not not one two, so we just need to take a tiny little bit off. Again, working slowly. So you don't take too much off. Ring in the barrel. Square it up with the piston. Check with the filler gauges. And not point one five. Perfect. Just check a not point one six. Not point one six is very tight. It's just a case of repeating the process again with the second ring. Just to say, go slowly, take a little bit off at a time. Make sure the markings are facing upwards. Make sure you turn the wheel towards the center. Off the piston ring. Pull it down firmly. A few turns. Check the ring and repeat until it fits and you have the correct ring gap. Once you've done your rings then just take a tiny bit of uh, fine grit and uh, just clean off any burrs that there might be on the end of the ring.